So do you guys want to know how to do this? How's it going guys? My name's DPG and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on the screen now and good luck. So guys, this glitch allows you to literally open this red chest an infinite number of times. Now this red chest is the one I covered the other day which is in the system of slaughter. You can glitch this red chest by simply starting the system of slaughter activity then running back into this corner here. What this does is despawn all enemies in the arena, then you run up to the cage where the chest is being held and you can open it and get that loot. And because it's currently the rare chest riches event up until February 13th, we get way more legendaries from these red chests. Now this method of farming this chest, unlike the one I posted the other day, of simply restarting the encounter, running back to the corner, despawning the enemies, grabbing that chest and rinsing and repeating this, there's a much much easier way and avoids the chest bugging out, which you can by the way get around via shooting the chest a few times, which I covered in my video the other day. So this method, today's method, the new method, opening this chest a hundred times in a row without it bogging out and glitching your game. Let's start from the beginning. Start up the system of slaughter by grabbing the quest from nails. Travel down to the elevator into the system of slaughter arena. Start the activity by pressing that green button. You will then see the chest spawn inside the cage at the far end. Simply turn around, run back into this corner to despawn all enemies. Then what you do is people, you run back to the green button and press it again not opening that red chest. Now if you rinse and repeat this for 5 or 10 minutes of running back to the corner, running back to the green button then back to the corner, the results are utterly crazy. So again, simply start the activity by pressing that green button, run into the corner to despawn all enemies, run back to the green button and press it again, run back into the corner and despawn all enemies again, and you repeat this for as long as you want. And what I actually noticed is people, let's say you do this 10 times or do it for 5 minutes or whatever. So say 10 times of you pressing that green button and despawning those enemies. What happens is when you go to open a chest, it seems as though something bugs out and this stacks. Meaning you can open it a whole heap more than you should be able to. This I will showcase at the end of the video where I run back and forth a set amount of times. And when it comes to me spamming that chest to open, I'm able to press that button and open a chest at least triple the amount of times I press that green button which is bizarre. What you will also notice is once you grab some of that loot from the chest it seems as though you're able to open it up many more times too which is crazy. Now I've literally only done this for about 10 minutes max or around that mark. I can only imagine what this would be like if you did it for let's say half an hour. The results would be amazing. And I'm also seeing myself get some great loot from this chest too. Some nasty rolls on my Maggie companion and some incredible artifacts for sure. So yeah guys enjoy this while you can. I will state if you have any kind of snow drift artifact which allows you to slide quicker and further, it makes this process even more efficient. So yeah guys instead of pressing that green button running back into the corner despawning enemies and running and opening the chest, this new way is much much better. Press that green button, run back into the corner, despawn all the enemies, run back to the green button and run back to that corner, despawn all the enemies and repeat this for as long as you want. Then when it comes to you wanting to open that chest you just stand next to it and just spam that open button or that use button. And like I said you will notice when it stops having this notification on the chest that when you pick up some of the loot the notification for you to open the chest will pop back 
up so he can spam it even more and it makes his chest farming glitch a whole heap quicker it really does so yeah guys enjoy it while you can but on that note we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one <laughs>